Hello, my name is Nick, and in this video, I want to share that I have um, I've been following one of the greatest stories uh, around at the moment. If you ask me, it's the the story and the conversation between uh, David Wilcock and Corey Good. The information that they're sharing has connected a lot of dots for me. Um, especially with the introduction of the work from Michael Tellinger and also William Henry. And it's fascinating. The reason it's fascinating to me is because it really does walk hand in hand with the wisdom, the ancient secrets um, and the, the, the techniques that my spiritual teacher Dr. and Master Zhigang Shah teaches, <clears throat> whether it's Master Shah's work, uh, whether it's uh, David and Corey or whoever I, um, I, I read on or I watch, there's one passion of mine and that is solutions. When we look at Corey Good, his information um, is, is coming from these severe beings and the blue avians, which are a, a high density, a highly evolved race that have been present on Earth millennia ago, millions of years ago, and they're now coming back with a message of we as humanity need to free ourselves and we do this through living in love, forgiveness, compassion and service to others. Now this is the same message as Master Shah and you can say this is a universal message um, for the spiritual journey but I want to show a few uh, links in terms of a solution and how um, we have a solution, okay? I'll show you how, with what Michael Tellinger is talking about on his show on Gaia, where he talks about the power of sound. And when we introduce this to a large collective um meditations with the intention of bringing peace we can see how it will change our consciousness raise our consciousness it's like what william henry is talking about as a human being we are here to evolve to ascend okay now uh, when they, whether they're talking about rainbow body, enlightenment, or many other um, areas, fundamentally, what Master Shah is here and teaching, and what they are talking about, and what the Blue Avians are talking about, is humanity as a collective ascending, a ray, a, a becoming enlightened. And moving into a new era, which started August 8th, 2003. Master Shah states, even time reincarnates. There is a three stages of time that reincarnate. And they last 15,000 years. Now we are coming out of a dark era. And we see this because... The dark forces who control the planet are coming to a point where they're pushing their final agenda. And at the same time, humanity's consciousness and awareness is on a rise like we've, we've never seen before. And that's because <clears throat> we are coming into a new era. When you look at what William Henry is talking about, William Henry said that the negative forces are trying to force us into a technology-based world, okay? And the spiritual journey is to enlighten to the soul's potential. Now, this is what Master Shah's 
essence is, his books are called The Power of Soul. His new book is called Soul Over Matter, okay? The new era that we are heading, uh, are heading into is called the Soul Light Era. Now, in Master Shah's teaching and his books, he explains the soul, okay? He explains um, the divine and the Tao. He explains how to communicate, tap into your soul's potential. You know, we've had many lives, uh, physical lives, but the soul is eternal, okay? Our souls have many lifetimes, so we can tap into that. Master Shah shows, shows techniques how to do that. And also to tap into the wisdom from the Ascended Masters, uh, from the Divine and the Tao. And this is profound, okay? So with Master Shah's Love, Peace, Harmony movement, this is my main focal point, okay? Because yesterday I just watched the latest interview with Corey David and William Henry. And they were talking, William Henry said that the negative forces on the planet, their agenda, they want in by 2020. And this straight away um, opened me up, give me a big aha. Master Shah wants his Love, Peace, Harmony movement to be achieved by 2020. Now, Corey Good said in a, in a different interview that I saw with uh, David Wilcock, he said, as human beings, we sit down here and we look up at the higher beings to come and save us. But the higher beings look down and wait for us to save ourselves. Now with the work of Michael Tellinger, he proves how we are creators, okay? We can create in this reality. David Icke does a good job of this too, and how the negative forces use that against us. Now, I'm not trying to cause conflict between good and bad here, because Master Shah teaches karma, okay? For whatever reason, if you are being affected by anything, whether it's good or bad, there's a karmic reason for that, okay? So that's why he emphasizes forgiveness. Again, in one of my other videos, I share the personal insight of why the Tao creates a good and a bad force, yin and yang. Just as Osho said, when you look into the sky in the day, it's filled with stars, but you don't see them. You need the black of the night to see the light of the stars. This is one way we can look at the negative forces with love, forgiveness, and compassion. Because they are there so we can ascend. We can uh, rise above, we can enlighten. And bring universal harmony, okay? <clears throat> so, with the Love, Peace, Harmony movement, the goal is to have 1.5 billion people singing one song by 2020. This will significantly raise the consciousness and frequency and vibration of humanity. And why is this important? Because it's not just a song, it's a message. It's an intention, a global intention. And it's also a very high spiritual uh, significance. Five lines, I love my heart and soul, self-healing, forgive yourself then you can forgive others. I love all humanity. This is selfless service. Humanity represents all souls in, in, in this term. Everything, you give your love selflessly. This is one way to self-clear our karma. Join hearts and souls together. This is a divine calling um, for us all to align as one in divine consciousness. And the last two lines, love, peace, harmony, love, peace, harmony. Now, this is the goal of the soul light era. Now, I want to show in these videos, this series of videos, how important 
This song is when applied with Master Shah's four power techniques. I'm going to go over the four power techniques in the next few videos. I'll add one more thing. Um, I heard David Wilcox share from one of his insiders with Corey Good that if the whole world laughed at the same time, we would cut our energetic ties to the Draco. And he said, even when the event Live Aid was taking place, so many people around the world tuned into that and enjoyed it. It was so detrimental to the negative forces that they had to create an immediate false flag, which was the London bombings straight after um, Live Aid. So this again is all signposts pointing to uh, the Love, Peace, Harmony movement. So please keep, stay tuned um, and watch the next videos. I will also link on the end a meditation. So thank you.